For starters, I want to point out a new perspective about crypto and thickly made chains. I haven't heard this before, so just two cents. Mm, imagine in 10 years, let's say, mm, I'm sure the most common cryptocurrencies will be more stable, sized and normalized than they are now. Yet, if more people have adopted the use of cryptocurrencies, then some shopping events may also be normalized by the uprise of cryptocurrency. For example, if shopping activity accelerates you know, around certain events, then the price of the currency might go up during those events. As we have seen, you know, we are getting near Christmas and usually around these times the cryptos have also surged up. But that's not probably a bad thing because it will um, when when the currency rises um, it can have also positive impacts to um, make shopping more multidimensional and it might actually perhaps become an advance point for customers and ultimately I think it will be more healthy for our planet too. Yeah, just your two cents about environment and cryptos. If you have found some perspective how cryptos will be positive for the planet and for our environment, let me know here. Cheers. When the main street or mainstream is bussing about Bitcoin and cryptos again, here is a funny reminder and two cents back to the first search of Bitcoin um, a couple years ago, a few years ago, and back to this day. Let's go. DNA, which stands for deoxyribonucleic acid, is the most complex molecule in the universe. Unbelievably complicated molecule. Average person has 50 trillion cells in their body with 46 of those little molecules in each cell. 46 chromosome strands in each cell of your body. If you extracted all of it, it would only fill about two tablespoons. But if you took those DNA strands and unwound them, stretched them out, tied them together, one person's DNA would reach from Earth to the moon and back over half a million times. Round trips to the moon. It is so unbelievably complex. If you typed out the code found in your DNA, when you got done typing, you'd have enough books to fill Grand Canyon 78 times. That's the instructions to make you. I'd say you're pretty special. Quite a list of instructions to make you. David said, I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. 